what a glorious day. Sometimes I do wonder in this weather why we do it. Another video where a gambler's in the wash tray. We're running really late, so we've mucked out and everything already. Um, just gonna put his boots on and load them up. But yeah, we're off to another horse show. Hey, baby boy. But it has been an absolute disastrous week to get here. Um, so I have booked in for three classes. Whether we do two of them, I don't know. I don't know. After the week we've had with everything, one class is for definite. We're definitely going for one class ready for next week. But yeah, we're running late, so quickly I'm just going to grab his boots on, get him in the horse box, and we'll talk again soon. we get at the end of show season usually you just run straight on the lorry but by the end of the year oh, my partition, good job it's not one of the others um by the end of the year it just doesn't want to get on um that's it take him around the other way that's it right just give him a mouthful yeah, good boy such a good boy Best thing about horse shows, isn't it? Don't get donuts at any other time. Breakfast. So we are here. Um, yeah, always a bit of a rush of the morning because I prefer to get to a show early and then wait around if I need to at the show but at least I'm here. Um, we've got a few classes. They are doing the in hand mountain and moorland first. What this show is, is they class it as an open show. So hello baby. Anyone can turn up, even if you've just won Hoyes, you can come to this show. So it's nice that I found something that Lewis and Hing can do before your horse live. It is currently Saturday. We're leaving for your horse live on Thursday. This video won't go up till the Friday evening. They're competing at 20 past nine Friday morning. So by the time you see this video, we'd have actually done your horse live and know how they done. Um, but they've not been out to do an in-hand class since since Sunshine Tours in September, you got your nose stuck. Um, so I just wanted somewhere to take them out to. But it's been awful week this week. Absolutely awful. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Of course, we lost Champ. So it's just been coming to terms with that. I had shingles before, didn't I? But where I was a bit down from losing champ we were actually worried that the shingles was coming back because i i felt very ill again luckily fingers crossed i don't think it is it was just i got a bit ill um it's been half time so lewis has been doing really well with keeping gambler fit and ridden and then i clipped him like usual like i would for your horse live and then we've had this what is it storm kieran we didn't actually get the winds, luckily, but we have had days of torrential rain. I've never seen it, it like it. I'm not a fair weather rider. I don't mind riding horses in the rain, but there was no way we could have rode in that. We would have ruined saddles. And then our fields are like swimming pools. So he's not been turned out since he's been clipped. He hasn't been ridden. Um, done some in-hand practice with him yesterday and every time Lewis asked him to trot he just turns back into a stallion again prancing and dancing so it's absolutely awful week not prepared for this as I say if it wasn't your horse live coming up I wouldn't bother coming today I wouldn't do it because of everything that's gone on it's still chucking it down my rain luckily this is in an indoor school but yeah as I said earlier 
I booked him in for three classes, one in hand class and two ridden. I'm not going to push him to do the ridden. Um, as I say, he hasn't been ridden all week, he hasn't actually been turned out. I am not going to make Lewis do anything that he feels uncomfortable with this close to your horse life. If he falls off and gets hurt, they're not going to your horse life. So we're going to see. Tack is here with us. I can, I've just spoke to the people, I can get on Gambler before Lewis anyway. So, because they're doing the novice ridden class and sometimes they can be a bit funny with other people riding the horse before the child and child does. But I spoke to the person, she says it's fine, I can get on before him and then I can make the decision on whether I think it's safe for them to go in the room. If they don't, there's another show through the winter that we're getting to to do ridden anyway. But as I say, I'm not going to do anything dangerous or out of Lewis's comfort zone, so close to your horse life. Um, Gambler's a good boy. He really is, but he's not a machine. He is a horse, as I say. He hasn't been turned out. I've not done a ridden show on him since, since he was about four years old. Um, I think Lewis done one fun class somewhere once, but that was it. So I'm not going to push him, but yeah, I'm going to get him ready now and Lewis is going to get dressed and we do the in hand first and then we decide what we're doing. So how are you feeling? You're looking forward to it? It's the first in hand class for ages, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. But you need to remember to do everything. Pretend you're at your horse life. So you need to remember everything they taught you in the training day, don't you? The, what have you got to do? You've got to walk backwards to line his legs up, get him to have his wonky legs and everything, haven't you? Stay by his shoulder, straight lines. What else did they teach you? Yeah. Run fast. Run fast. But keep him sedate. Yeah, not bouncing around. But do you want to do the ridden? I want to. They just depend on what gambler's at the We're not going to risk it, are we? If, if he's not behaving, we're not doing it. We don't want you hurt for next week, do we? Yeah. So no panic, no stress. I'll tuck him up after you're in hand and we will see. I'll get on them first and we see. If it doesn't happen, we we'll go to another show and do it again, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right? But you've practiced hard, haven't you? You've really practiced really hard for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we'll see. Right, you're going to get dressed then. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's freezing, isn't it? <laughs> if you get dressed and put your coat over the top, you might be able to keep your coat on in the ring. Judges are usually pretty good. It was warm in the ring. In the ring, it's warm. All right, well, you get dressed, I'll get the horse ready, and uh, we'll come back again soon. Boy. windy for him but right it's freezing cold it's wet it's rainy but we're gonna walk him up to the indoor arena now just get out of this wind and we just see how he goes we've changed the classes now we're gonna do two in hand classes trying to like and mouse and set them down to see if we can then get into the novice ridden class. Yeah. We go round and um, hopefully it won't be long until they're in. in the ring. <laughs> yeah. 
Being a prat still. Even with him not turning the corner, he's been pulled in second so far in the first line-up. So they've still got to do their individual show yet. Right, let's see if he can contain his excitement and behave now. This is driving type, so you actually want them to be really well behaved for a car. But as I say, it doesn't matter, we're just doing it to practice for your horse live next week. Certainly not going to happen there. <laughs> it's like she's letting him have a trot round just to let him get the energy out. Well, she's going to leave them as they are, even though he misbehaved. But he's a good driving stamp of a horse and luckily at this level the judges know that it's, it's chucking a gale down outside so they can take a bit of spooking but yeah, I'm surprised for that to be fair. Mm. Settling down. Good, well done. Let's see if he behaves here. Better so far. Good. They've done their first initial trot round so let's see where they're going to place them as their first thought he behaved a bit better on that trot round but we'll see this is the mountain moorland class now Oh, he's been pulled first so far. We still got to do the other trot round. But so far, initially, he's been pulled in first place. Right, let's see if he can behave on this bit now. Is that good? It's all just for practice for your horse life. So he walked backwards and got him stood up like he should. Now let's see if Gambler will stand still. No, he's going to go sideways that's what we need to stop before your horse lies but I think it's the doors at the back that are upsetting him turn around we changed his bit so might need to change that again Behave, good. That's better. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, he's been 
much pain in today. So that's all the in hand individuals done. So we just see he should be put down the line for his behaviour, but we'll see what they say. It's been a right energetic prat today. Less than the done it still. And still kept him his first place. I'm absolutely so surprised with that. He wants to itch now. This is his new favourite thing. We've got a bag of goodies. And a sash. Lovely. Well done, good boy. Well done, good boy. It is as soon as he gets past those doors that he prats about. I will play this again without the voiceover, but if you listen carefully, the photographer shakes a bottle of rice, which spooks Gambler. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! I'll put him into the in-hand championship, just so it's another class to try and lose his energy. But I've got no expectations at all in this especially after knocking the plant off over. <laughs> but the photo photographers say it was their fault. They shook the stuff to try and get him to get his ears forward. So that's nothing against him at all. So we're back home. He's out in the field. Um, yeah, what a disastrous show. But some of them uh, like that. As I say, this week has been horrendous. Anyway, not being able to turn out. You can see all the, the well, there is surface water everywhere, but he's had to go out. Um, we need to really get on top of that behaviour before we leave for your horse live. But um, the photographers said it was their fault. I went and apologised for him knocking the flower pots down, but the photographers had said it was all their fault. They shook a bottle with some rice in it to try and get the horses to put ears forward. He just took a little disliking to it and booted the flower pot. Um, but yeah, pretty embarrassing, but it's horses for you. It really is. They have good days and bad days. Clearly, Gambler was not playing ball at all today. But, um, yeah, he's just a bit full of himself. But um, I'm so surprised with the results that Lewis got anyway because of his behaviour. He got second in driving type, first in Mountain and Moorland, went into the championships, didn't get anything there, but I just wanted him to have another time in the ring to lose some more energy. As you can see, we're back home now, so we didn't bother with the ridden at all. It wouldn't have mattered. If I got on that horse and rode him round, warmed him up, and he was perfectly fine, Lewis still wouldn't have gone in the ring with him anyway, because uh, he just kept misbehaving mess in the ring. Because we'd trotted him up and down outside, and he hadn't done no wrong. But, um, yeah, inside the ring, he was taking a right dislike to it so it's it's not worth it so yeah I'm not gonna knock Lewis's confidence in the ridden and risk him getting hurt before your horse live next week but so we move on to the next one there will be another show through the winter for them to do the novice ridden anyway but um, hopefully it would be with different circumstances happening beforehand but yeah if you like what you see and want to follow along with our journey, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I think the video you're going to see after this one 
should be your horse live. But yes, so fingers crossed they actually behave for that one. But yeah, I will see you again soon. Bye.